reacts. Testing, testing, one, two, three, and we are live. What's up, guys? George the Cloud here. My name is Jorge, aka George. Welcome to the channel and welcome to you to welcome to your life. Welcome to my life. Uh, maybe welcome to your life at some point. I don't know. But um, today we're checking out Hikaru Utada. Moving on without you. Music video 4K upgrade. Okay, uh, that's high resolution as we know it. And this will be my second time ever checking out Hikaru. The first time was here. I did some investigation. Uh, a month ago, I checked out A Flower of No Color. If you haven't seen it, make sure you uh, check out that reaction. And you guys commented on how she is basically Japan's most successful musician. Something like that. Like she's really regarded in high standards uh, in Asia, basically. And I just hadn't heard of her ever until that time. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm very curious to check out what else she has. And uh, let's just dive right in. Without further ado, get some popcorn, fill up your water, put your headphones on. And let's. here.
Wow. Wow, I was not expecting that. That was so fun. Guys, wait for my commentary. First things first, we hit the like, we subscribe. I'll have a link of the original video down in the description below. So, you have to keep in mind, from my point of view, I've only ever seen this video, which was a flower, uh, a flower, a flower of no color, and this one. Complete opposites, super like different wow i had no idea this was she was this diverse the versatility so this was obviously like kind of replicating 90s dance i mean if there was a video to describe the 1990s it's this one all the tropes all the um the little you know things that happened it's like she studied you know uh, she studied really hard in every uh, like category all the the details the music video the dance moves even the way you know like I'm serious the way she dances the way she looks at the camera this is 90s uh, and she did it so well like you would not like if if you were in 1990s and you saw this video you would think it would be legitimate is that how how am I phrasing this <laughs> so badly like if you didn't know what year this video came out, right? You would think that it was from the 90s. I think the only thing that gives it away might actually be the resolution because the videos from 1990s were, of course, a lot less higher quality. Even though I only have this at 720p, I could go all the way to 2160 4K, but uh, I have it at 720 for, you know, for my computer but i think that would be the only thing that uh would make it not look 90s it, it it's probably just missing like a little bit of filter like blurriness or some dot just a little bit i'm not i'm not talking like all the way 80s uh just just a bit because right now it looks very crisp but man so many the the computer the technology the chair like I feel like I have seen this video many times before, even though it's the first time ever. But so many videos from that era used the same effects. Like the same way of filming, uh, the direction, the shots, the visuals. It was just what they did back in the day. You know, the 1990s was such a weird experimental decade. It's like... It came after the 80s, which to me was the best decade of music and maybe the best decade in general because so many things happened and it was just incredible. And then so they were or we were at the peak of uh, music in the 80s and then the 90s came and it's like people didn't know what to do. So everything was really out there, extreme funky like i said experimental creative off key even the rhythm it was just weird like imagine making a music video today in, in a serious way right not this is kind of i mean this isn't satire but it is imitating a different era it's not like they're making this to seem like 2024 the tunnel the 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 screens with absolutely random images meaning nothing and even the the waves, the ocean waves, we cannot forget about that because that is such a, a nice touch. Where is it? Where is it? Here. Uh, that looks like... um. Man, all these images look like something you would have on like Windows 95. You know, those computers from back in the day. If anyone out there remembers... If you're like under 18, then you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But, you know, the computers back in the day where used to be this block, this white block. And you would start it up, it said Windows 95, and then, and then it was like Windows 98, something like that. The, the bacteria, or whatever this is. Ah, it's just so many, so many. It's like they used every effect from back in the day, put it into one video, and still make it look cohesive 
because that's the hard part about making a video like this it's like okay everything's super random colorful all over the place how do we tie it all together and make it seem like okay it is actually done on purpose and it's meant to be and i think they actually did it somehow they managed to do it but this must have been for whoever edited and made the video so fun entertaining but at the same time like a nightmare to put this together logistically and make it make sense um aside from that guys of course i tried to put on the captions no subtitles available so i really don't know what she was saying except the chorus at some parts uh it said moving on without you and i have a feeling that most of the lyrics are very generic of things that you would say from back in the day it's like about love being with you not being with you missing you um life you know is better without you it's time to move on that kind of thing because you know that's what you it was just that's the vibe that i'm getting that it's supposed to be generic of the 90s so um still let me know if um let me know what the lyrics mean what you thought of the video if you enjoyed it if you like it if you thought it was an interesting idea like i did i was not expecting this at all this this completely like threw me off it, it was just even the it's square right square screen um man but really cool i really enjoyed this and uh hikaru utada okay i i was almost like at a loss of words because she is more talented than i expected more versatile you know because people sometimes they comment they're like oh my god you you know this is my favorite artist they are incredible and like i get it i i believe you and but it's just to now see it for myself um wow it's crazy so guys uh don't forget to hit the like subscribe all that uh join the channel if you want to support me and watch me grow and try to be successful and financially stable at some point in my life i would really appreciate it and you will not regret it at the end do a flip till the next thanks for watching